picturesque Norfolk Island, a green isle with a rocky coastline, once a penal settlement and now the home of 700 descendants of the mutineers of the Bounty, come the Governor-General and the Duchess of Gloucester. They are greeted by the new administrator of Norfolk Island, Mr. Alec Wilson, former federal member for Wimmera, Victoria. The islanders have a proud record of enlistments and the Duke and Duchess place wreaths on their memorial. They inspect the veterans of two wars. A Norfolk Islander won a military cross for bravery on Shaggy Ridge, New Guinea. Spots of historic interest. Over the gap, despairing convicts jumped to death in years gone by. It's a gala day for the islanders and a big picnic is arranged. No formal banquet, but an alfresco lunch in the open air is enjoyed by everyone, including their highnesses. This type of informality gives the governor general and his lady opportunity of rarely meeting the people, something they obviously appreciate. When Pitcairn Island, their original home, could no longer support their growing numbers, the descendants of the bounty mutineers and their Tahitian brides voyage to Norfolk Island. Today on Norfolk, many of the inhabitants are named Christian. He is one of them. A historic relic, a gun from the bounty. There are many Quintals. The girl on the horse is Jean Quintal. More than 100 islanders are named Nobs and as many Buffets, all descendants of the adventurous bounty seafarers. Relics of the grim days of penal settlement are the ruins of the jail and barracks. If these dark stones could speak, what tales they could tell. The Christians all descend from Fletcher Christian, mate of the bounty who deposed Bly. Executed for mutiny. There's drama there. In this house, one of Australia's most celebrated sons, William Charles Wentworth, was born. His father was naval surgeon Darcy Wentworth. Part of Australia little known, Norfolk Island lies dreaming of its vivid romantic history.